Alright, welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for the PlayStation 4, which begins now. Alright, so we are finally on to the point where we are going to have the showdown between Goku and Vegeta, and I forgot to yesterday to give, to give, you know, my shout out to D Night Gaming, so here it is today, although I do put the link to their channel in every video, so, you know, that more than makes up for it. So let's see, where are we going? We need to go to the world map? No, we don't, oh, we just go forward a little bit. Although, what's Vegeta say? I am curious. Go on then. Show me where you want to fight, and if you're thinking of running away, think again. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't want to run away, we want to just take you somewhere for reasons. I'm thinking the reason- he said to protect their body, but no, that's, you know, that's a dumb reason. And hey, I may as well grab, you know, oh, I have to go that way anyways, so. Or I can deal with it later. And, huh, I like how we go from, you know, de you know, we go from meadow to desolate wasteland. Makes perfect sense. But hey, this is where, this is where Goku wants to have the fight, so. Not even a mile away, what's the difference? Saiyans are worth as warriors as measured and judged at birth. Those with no and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, D Night Gaming. I am so thinking of jacking your idea for using that for the thumbnail for this episode. Like, cause it's it's a good shot. Although maybe I'll do uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do the reverse and do that one. Hey, why not? You guys did the over Goku's shoulder. I'll do over Vegeta's. Makes sense. Cause it is like the best thumbnail you're gonna get here. I mean, it really is, but uh oh. Time for the fight. Yeah, I knew you were gonna try something. Oof. That is. Oh my god, that is a wicked move. And he's pissed. <gasps> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that was funny. Ooh, and yeah, the KO Ken is definitely taking out my power, but. You know what? It's worth it, though. Oh, he's pissed. <gasps> Must hit button. Can't believe we actually got this. Come on. <gasps> Wait, did the battlefield just go upside down? Oh my god, that is so insane. Eesh, and man, that is draining our health for sure. Uh oh, yeah, Vegeta's pissed. Uh oh, shit. Okay, apparently, yeah, apparently using the KO Ken was not the best of ideas. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh my god. Wow, he clipped the crap out of me. Oh my god. I'm wondering if I should take some time between things to actually level grind. Oh, you bastard. Oh, 
I'll use the KO Ken only in an emergency. Only in the absolute biggest emergency. Because, yeah, that thing, I think that was probably the biggest problem, is it drained my health so damn bad. Although, yeah, we can keep doing this, which is... T uh oh, he's pissed. Although, we are... Oh my god! Uh oh, shit. Come on, let me move! What the hell? <sighs> I mean, we're doing better this time without the KO Ken involved, and that was a lucky break. Oh, I hate you so much! Ah, <sighs> still hate that move. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. Doing okay. I hate you. Okay, good. Wait, okay, I need... I like that move. I definitely like that move, but... Come on. Great, now he's pissed. Now he's really pissed. And Okay, can I do Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh yeah, we're really good. I freaking love that move, it's so helpful. <laughs> it's so impossibly cheap, but it works. <sighs> Although, damn, he is. He is unleashing rather quickly. Uh oh, sure. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. <sighs> Fucking hell. God damn it. Man, this is actually a really hard fight, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong because I'm playing really good. I mean, either way, if I do stuff like this in the beginning, maybe that'll definitely help. Although, shit, where'd he go? That is kind of a problem when he gets away there, but this definitely... Oh yeah, I pissed him off already, but I'm doing... <laughs> That actually worked out pretty good. I think I think having the transformation be that key is so dumb. But that's just me. And get back here, you little bastard. Oh really? <laughs> I mean, I'm doing... I think I'm doing better if I'm... 
if I'm taking a Gallic gun right to the face. <laughs> I do like how that move can kind of sort of, kind of sort of block him there, kind of, not really. Wow, and wow, are you kidding me? Wow, this is getting ridiculous. Man, fucking KO Ken is so... It's like it's sh so shit in that regard that it... That it takes all this energy out of me. Like, it didn't, it didn't do like that in the show. Come on, we're... Yeah, I'm probably gonna die, though. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> this fight... Man, this fight's hard. I'm gonna... I'm... At this point, I'm gonna have to cut back, because otherwise we're gonna lose too much time. I didn't... Man. Boss battles are tough, and it's a case of, do I... You know... When I have, when I know I have like a actual boss battle coming up, do I need to start grinding on them? Cause it's not. I don't feel like it helps. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, that took forever. That took me almost 30 minutes, that f and I still can't believe I got an S rank out of it. That fight was hard. That fight was so fucking hard, because the biggest problem is it's like any t I got- I always got Vegeta near the end, but then he always unleashed huge ass combinations on me that I couldn't seem to dodge or block. It's funny, I didn't even use the Kaioken. I'm just tired from that. That oh, that drained me. That was that was a hard fight. That was a very very hard fight. <laughs> Probably the hardest one in the game so far, but understandably so. And fuck, we still have worse people to fight. <sighs> I'm scared for when we get to the end of the game. That's gonna be the fun part. That truly is gonna be oh. Shit, Goku's going a little crazy. <laughs> and to think that that doesn't even kill him. Then again, really, nothing kills him. Nope. He's he's good. Just a piece of the armor chipped, but he's fine. Whew. Yeah, I'm ex I'm as tired as these two. But hey, like I said, it's a good thing we cut out the cut out the failure from those fights, because yeah, like I said, that took four that took a whole episode right there. Uh uh oh. Okay, so Piccolo has the power to create clothes. Saiyans have the power to create an artificial moon that somehow were okay. Who am I to argue? Although, shit, that is a bit of a problem. How you doing? By the way, I like how they made armor that can actually, you know, grow and expand with the f with the form. That's that's crazy. Makes total oh fucking hell. Well, good thing is he only has ten thousand HP. Oh fuck. <sighs> wow, that barely did shit. Wait. Well, I suppose that's something. Like I s oh, damn. How did- yeah, I was gonna say, how would you have dodged? You're a giant ape and I'm aiming right at the center and boy, that was- That was actually a really short fight. That's- Okay. Goku did not have this easy of a time with Vegeta's giant ape form. No. He was not... Wait, and that's the... What? So, is that the end of the story with Goku versus Vegeta then? And are... So, is this whole thing coming to an end? Oh. Although, wait. I don't remember him using the spirit bomb when the gorilla was in the giant form. Lend me some of your energy! Hmm. Guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Well, then again, what am I seeing we're about to find out? He is doing just that. Kind of a fucked up move that you can take life from... And I, I'm assuming that means from living people too, and Vegeta's here, so... Are we taking some of his energy? Yeah, we don't... Yeah, we don't exactly... Surprise! Yeah, we don't ex... <laughs> okay, that was actually... I know it wasn't meant to be funny, but just that looked... That looked funny. And... Uh, power protein! Yeah, but I mean, we still have a little... Not, not much left here, but a little bit. Because, yeah, we have to stop the giant ape, and how exactly are we going to do that other than these two, of course? Well, you'll find out. I already remember. 
See, that's the good thing about having watched this so many times and it being such a memorable anime. You can just jump right back in and you know what's going on. I'm heading back. It's my dad. Yeah, he's kind of in bad shape, you know, being squeezed by a giant gorilla. Did you see a gorilla run by here? <laughs> but yeah, we're of course these two are and a new of course, another story arc already. That's so weird, but hey, who am I to judge? Ooh, neat. Why did he not have that till now? And why would I? Why would I want to use Krillin? He sucks. Like at this point in time, he's not exactly good. But yeah, we gotta go save Goku because he can't save himself. Hmm. And, and wait, Gohan suddenly has the ability to sense energy? To, you know, do energy readings and know we're not fighting shit? We already don't have that much HP as it is. Uh oh, yeah, there he is. That is a weird ass genetic trait we have to where we can transform into giant apes. <laughs> oh yeah, don't let the giant apes see. Oh, hi, what are you doing here? Why? Why are you here? Forget what that furry freak is. He's a Saiyan. A Saiyan. Yeah, we know what he is. No, but if we can cut his tail off, he'll revert back to normal. Yeah, that would be a good strategy. You guys get in front and distract him. Yeah. Oh yeah, Yajirobe be the human meat shield. And then I'll slice his tail off. Okay. Well, Krillin does have the move for it. What? Distract him. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Well, why'd you come here for nothing else but that? Even if you cut him down to size, he's still gonna knock you guys silly. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, what, we just don't try? How you doing? Yeah, just shout your attack out loud. Make sure he can hear you. Make make sure he can hear every word you're saying. And let me guess, we're going to say what now? <laughs> Go Yajirobe! <laughs> He didn't seem because he doesn't have a power level to scan. He, he's just some he, he's just some fat wannabe samurai dude who happened to play hero one time. Cause he's just there. He's one of those characters who's just there. Yeah, I think Vegeta's pissed. Good thing is he is kinda weakened up. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, he is way... Yeah, he is way weakened up. Ah, thought I could... Well, either way, that was not that... I mean, it's not the big, you know, epic grandiose fight with him and Goku. So, of course, it's not going to be that hard. Certain fights like, the, you know, the big fight with Raditz or the big fight with Vegeta or anything like that, those are probably going to be, or even the big fight coming up in the next saga, those are probably going to be the hard points. Other than that, though... Krillin, come here. Wait, let's see. Need your help. Yeah, you need a lot of help. I think every bone, I think every bone in your body is broken. Now's our only chance. I'm gonna... I mean, the giant ape did squeeze you for several minutes, and that's really all it's going to take. All the energy I gathered. Well, you know what, at least he wasn't, at least he didn't drop it. So, there's that. Although that, it's funny, if you could give other people the ability to kind of use the spirit bomb, why, like, 
Why not make that a normal thing? That would be kind of useful. You got it. And now, turn your palm up and concentrate the energy. Yeah, see, look at that. Somehow you're teaching Krillin how to use the spirit bomb. Why did this not become a regular thing? That would have been so... That would have made Krillin maybe a little more useful. Because I think after the next arc, he's done being useful. That's a spirit bomb. Yeah, yeah, apparently Krillin can use the spirit bomb, had no training for it whatsoever, was not, you know, did not go through what Goku did, but hey, suddenly you can use the spirit bomb. I believe this is the only time that ever happens. Yeah, we definitely need a clean shot, but... Hit him if he keeps moving all over the place like that! You don't use your eyes when throwing the spirit bomb! Yes, thank you, King Cut. Voices in my head. I'm hearing voices in my head. And I could just contact anybody whenever. Remember, that ball contains the whole <laughs> Remember every, person every everything is in your hands. No pressure. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Seek out his evil energy. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm going to I fuck this up. <laughs> I'm going to. So don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. There it is. And suddenly it has heat seeking ability. Don't ask me how. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> Not even Krillin's fault. I, I, I love the rules of techniques in this universe. You could suddenly have. You can have, you know, Krillin use this technique that Goku took months learning how to do. Apparently Gohan can knock it back because he's pure of heart. You know. You know, it makes total sense. And it exploded in spectacular fashion. Yeah, he's not dead. He ain't dead. It's not that simple. You wish. You wish it was that simple. It is not. Ooh. Although he very way he may as well be because damn, that was a hard thud. You've really done it this time. <laughs> You've made me mad. You had me thinking I might actually die. Although it's funny, Krillin's, re Krillin's really not taking a beating. He could probably easily beat Vegeta at this point. That's the sad part. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you kind of forgot the kid was part Saiyan, didn't ya? Even half-blooded, we still have this power. And your phony moon kinda made things worse. How you doing? I'm a giant ape. Although wait, do we do we get to fight Vegeta as the giant gorilla? Oh Oh yeah, I forgot it didn't last more than a few seconds, but it was more than enough. <laughs> Oh my god, and Vegeta still probably isn't dead. Although it's funny, I believe after... I'm trying to think, after this, I think... And, yeah, somehow his pants are still... Don't ask me how this works. Cool, we got an S for that chapter, mainly because it wasn't that hard. And 14, and... Huh. And we're actually get, we're actually going right on time, too. But hey, that's the main point of Dragon Ball Z, though, is a lot of a lot of dialogue and not a lot of action. Although it's still really good action. 
And fortunately enough, you not only had a remote for your ship, but it the remote wasn't destroyed, like, ever. And, okay, I don't remember Krillin really getting beat up that much. Go on, yes, Krillin, no. And yet somehow he's still weak. And when they flew away, too, it's like, uh-oh. Because, because cool. Goku's a dick. Why? I'm sorry, but just, <laughs> just let him go. Okay, the guy no, comes wait, to our planet, try, kills several of our friends, tries to just blow everything up. And come back and kill let him, him let him go. I, I know. I mean, I guess the I guess the good thing is the fact that Vegeta never really comes back to try and take over Earth, mainly because at this point, he knows of the other Dragon Balls. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. I know he killed all our friends, but let him live. It's totally cool. He will be redeemed. Okay, fine. I guess if anybody's got the right to ask for that, it's you. No. No, he doesn't. I mean, if it weren't for you, this whole planet would I, be toast. I guess technically he does have but a point, though, because if not for Goku, you'd be dead. You gotta blow this guy away with everything you got when he comes back. He won't. You got it. He won't come back. At least, uh, Vegeta doesn't come back to Earth for quite some time. You, you won't have another miracle to save you next time. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. Because it's all you have left. Don't worry, you'll... <laughs> don't worry, you'll... It'll be okay. Yeah, let the guy who, you know, nearly killed everybody just... Just go. Although, I guess... I guess technically Vegeta didn't kill anybody except Nappa. And Nappa kind of got his, so... You know... Wait. Bulma, what? What's with the? You, the others, they're all gone. What's? We're, we're the only ones oh, is left. it the credits? Because it's the end of they this saga. Uh, that means Kami and the That's balls. interesting, and yeah, yeah, we realize all the Dragon Balls are gone. So, so you mean Yamcha can't ever? You be... don't. You don't even love Yamcha. You have this weird love hate relationship with him. Don't cry. You don't you don't love him though, trust me. By the by the end of the series, you don't love him. I don't I don't think he ever gets anybody in the end. Those of you who know know who Bulma ends up with, but uh yeah, we're not gonna spoil that for those who don't know. They said the Namekian home planet, planet Namek should even have more powerful dragon balls then hopefully if we that would be that, that would be a good thing now wouldn't it we because we do kind of need to find something balls. to bring them back you know you know fuck the natural order of things <laughs> that's why king yemma hates them because fuck the natural order i like how we get it I, I like how we get all these huge spoilers for what's to come for the in, literally the entire next chapter. After a harrowing battle, Goku and his allies manage to defeat Vegeta. The remaining defenders of Earth mourn the high cost of victory, but Krillin finds a ray of hope in a conversation he'd overheard between the Saiyans. Yeah, somehow another planet with more Dragon Balls that you can use to revive your friends, only problem is you have no idea where it is. That's kind of a bit of a problem. You have no idea where the Dragon Balls are. And so, at a great cost, Goku and the others were able to fend off the Saiyan threat. Goku, having sustained major injuries, remained in intensive care. Gohan, on the other hand, made a full recovery in only a few days. That's because he didn't get the shit kicked out of him like Goku did. Cause yeah, Goku got beat up pretty good. A healthy body needs a healthy amount of good food, Gohan. Let me make you an extra special fur full course meal. I was about to say fur, fur course meal. I don't want fur in my food. Wow, really? Sit tight, okay? It's gonna take some time. Huh? huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I had that recipe she gave me here. 
You got me well, there. this stinks. I really wanted to treat you to a nice meal. Who gave you the recipe? I could ask them for it. Mm. Oh, you don't have to do that, Gohan. It's okay, I really want to see what it tastes like. Oh, well in that case, this is who gave me the recipe. The person with the recipe can be found in Keelan Village. Well, okay, I'll, I'll be back with the recipe. Do what you can. Please be careful. Yeah, Chi Chi not pissed off, that's surprising. Full course meals. Full course meals are special dishes that offer the best meal effects. In order to prepare a full course meal, you need both ingredients and recipes. Full course meals take more effort to cook than normal meals, but they also provide more stat boosts and meal effects. Only Chi Chi can cook full course meals, but they make a world of difference when it comes to strength, so make sure you get her to make some whenever you can. Intermissions are periods of free time between sagas in the main story. You can use the time to collect items, train, or complete mini and sub stories. Intermissions are also perfect opportunities to make preparations for whatever is next. Speaking to a specific character will end the intermission. Intermission: Get the recipe from the cookie from the kooky cook, <laughs> kooky cook, in the okay in Kayleen Village. Yeah, which we will do that next time because it is, it's definitely that time and man, we got a lot done and we came to the end of one saga and we'll soon be picking up the next one, but that's for, that's for another day. So until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Hey, it's me, Goku. You know, in the fight with Vegeta... We lost a lot of our friends. And with Piccolo gone, we can't use the Dragon Balls to bring anybody back. Wait a second. There are Dragon Balls on planet Namek? Kami's homeworld? How are the guys gonna get there? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The legendary Super Saiyan versus the evil Emperor Frieza! Don't miss it!